pink poodle crafts join the poodle pack it's time to get creative and make you laugh make your own or today pink poodle crafts is the way what a good boy hello everybody hello 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 how's everybody doing today Oh, I see it, Janie. It's, a, it's fine. Go do what you gotta do. No worries. Let's see, who do we have in here? Um, I see Satu and Clint and Angela and hi, Michelle and hi, JD and uh, Beehives. It's nice to see you again, Miss Beehives and Cassandra and Miss Janie, of course. And Joy, and Jeannie, and Nancy, and Robin. Hello, hello. Don't worry about it, Janie. Go do what you gotta do. Don't you don't you don't need to you don't need to be here twenty four seven. I promise it'll be okay. You got stuff you gotta take care of, so don't worry. No worries. Oh, uh, thanks, Rhonda. I appreciate that. Thanks for watching them. That's sweet of you to say. Hi, Sharon. And anybody else that's come in? Hi, Crafty Duchess. I have a, a quick happy mail to show from Miss Annette. She sent me, um, she sent me uh, her envelope journal, which I haven't even looked inside of it yet. Um, but isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Uh, but before I open that real quick, um, she also sent me some cool dyed papers there's this one here and there's one that was dyed with a green and a blue and then there's some a book page and then there's one of these which is dyed it's hard to see on camera but it is dyed a bit and let's see there is an, a little cute envelope that was coffee dyed you can almost barely see it on camera but it is and some cute buttons look at this she made this playing card isn't that cool she altered a playing card very cool there's a little doily ooh I'm rich she sent me money she sent me stuff to I'm assuming to use in this journal maybe um, <laughs> these are cute little military payment certificates <laughs> these are funny these are cool I'm rich. I'm rich. <laughs> and there's another cool little ephemera. I don't know what that's for. Hmm. It's cool looking though. And some papers. Very cute. And then there's a little baggie. And, and there's a doily. Ooh, very pretty. Ooh, and there's a paper. What does this have on it? Oh, it's, I can, it's like got um, what looks like like very faint ledger on it, kind of, but it's like coffee dyed. That's kind of cool the way that's on there like that. And then there is a 
Oh, I might not. <laughs> she sent me this this note, and it talked about how her her husband works for the coal company or the coal industry or something of that nature. And she sent me this cool thing that has like like samples of like actual coal from the mine that he works at, which is really cool. The only problem is, it I guess it isn't completely sealed at the top because like this one with all the powder in it kind of leaked on everything a bit so i had to <laughs> i had to wipe everything down i think i missed this you can see it's got like a little bit of that black it was no big deal it was just a little bit it was funny though because i reached into the package and i was looking for a note or something uh because i wasn't going to look at everything right then and there but i reached into the package and when i pulled my hand out it was black and i went why is my hand black <laughs> and i figured it out because i pulled this out and i said that's why my hand's black <laughs> <laughs> but it was kind of funny. Uh, but that's kind of cool, though, that they have this. It's Minnesota Iron Mining Industry. And there's, like, these cool, like, pieces of coal and stuff. I thought that was kind of cool. I haven't had a chance to read all of it, but I, I, I find that to be interesting. Oh, and there's stuff about it. This is where he actually works, I guess, her husband. I guess this is, like, a pamphlet or something. I think that's interesting. Kind of cool. Very cool. And then there's this in there, which is really cute. And it's um, a little, oh, it's like a little fabric book that, it's pieces of fabric, or I think what it's meant to be is to make it into a journal kind of, cause it's folded in half, like a little mini journal, like a fabric journal, that's really cool. Oh, that's really cute, I like that. Very cute. And let's see, I have to look in the journal. This is so pretty. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? These charms are the, I mean, the beads are just beautiful. Look at that. That's so pretty. She really, like, decked out on this, totally. It's got an envelope with some coffee dyed paper in it. Very cool. <laughs> Little lips. Lip, um, what do you call it? Uh, paper clip. A lip clip. <laughs> this is really cute. Yeah, you can see the envelopes in the back. Yeah, because that's the inside of the envelope. So she, yeah, made this. I'm assuming this cover is maybe a large envelope, like a folded envelope. Uh, this is really cool. Every pocket, every page is a pocket. Wow, she definitely went all out and made like a full, a full-on journal, big one. There's some little ephemeras in here. This is so cool. I can't believe she sent this to me. So cool. So pretty. What's in here? Some more paper. Coffee dyed paper. Some little doohickeys and another. I don't know if that's supposed to be in there or not, but it's kind of glued there. I'm not sure if it's supposed to come out. I don't think it probably is. Yes, yeah, this one's kind of stuck in there too. Very, very cool. And it's got an envelope that's been inked. Very pretty. Hmm. Little dog running on the beach. She sewed it with paper. That's so cool. Another little pockety thing. How come it won't come out? You being stubborn. This one's definitely being stubborn. Uh-oh, I think that one's stuck in there. I'm not going to try to get it out. I'll rip it. <laughs> Very pretty. Envelope with a matching paper inside. This is so pretty. Sometimes it's just all about the shoes. <laughs> This is so pretty. I love it. Oh, I like this little paper clip. It's cute. Hello, beautiful. 
Oh, and there's another coffee dyed paper in there. I don't know how to work these clips. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, look at this clip. Get it back in there. Oh, that pocket's fabric. How's that clip on there? Oh, is it magnet or is it? Okay, maybe it was supposed to be on the top like this or something. That's really pretty though. I don't know what she made that out of, but it's really pretty. Very pretty. Some more coffee dyed paper. Or dyed paper. I don't know if it's necessarily coffee. And then there is a little clip. Look at that little pocket thing. Does that come out or is that supposed to? Nope, it's glued in. That's cool. And a little pocket. Cute. Is there a paper in there? No, I'm just seeing things. And that says blessed. Oh, this is so cute. And whatever she put on there is like a, it's got like a pearly metallic finish on it, but that's just beautiful. I love this. This came out really nice. Thank you, Miss Annette. I don't know if you're here, but thank you. I think I probably was supposed to wrap that around twice, but that is so pretty. So pretty. Thank you, Miss Annette. Beautiful work. She's a very talented lady. Let me put this over here so I don't get it dirty. cleaned off and so who's playing along with us today and hi to anybody that's come in that I haven't seen come in because I was looking at the journal um, Miss Jody and Robin which I think I said hi to you already and Karen and Miss T and Rebecca hello and Karen hello and Cassandra hello you were in a car accident oh wow Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm glad you're okay. Good Lord. Your car's totaled. Ugh. Well, I'm glad you're okay. That's the most important thing. That's lucky right there. Hello, Hollow Storm. All right, uh, I have canvases I'm gonna work on tonight. I'm gonna gesso them. Um, I'm gonna do two canvases, I think. I'm gonna gesso them. You have ferret jeans? <laughs> Are they Levi's <laughs> with ferrets on them? <laughs> All right, I do need a brush. Not that one. Where's the one I usually use? I don't know. Big weird one. There it is. 
this one I usually use for my gesso because it's all kinds of out of whack. Angela, you're playing along? Awesome. She's got her canvases ready to go. You don't have to use a canvas to play along, don't forget. You can just use a piece of watercolor paper or any kind of sturdy paper will do. I'm just doing it on a canvas tonight, but I typically do it on watercolor paper. Um... Cassandra, you're playing along too? Awesome. Sweet. Who else is playing along? Is that, did I miss anybody? I tried to scroll back. Is there anybody that's new that's never played along that um, doesn't know what we're doing or just wants to watch? Hi, Sticky Art. Sharon, you're playing along and Shelly's playing along. Awesome. You just got finished live painting the beach. I don't know, did the beach appreciate that you were painting it? <laughs> Hi, Shazzy. All right, let me dry this real quick.
effing dry. canvas takes so long to dry dang it um oh it's easy uh sticky art basically just grab yourself a piece of paper nothing too big eight and a half by eleven six by six just something like that something sturdy like watercolor paper or like a piece of chipboard or even a piece of cardboard and you can throw gesso on it if you have it if you don't have gesso you don't have to worry about that too much um and what we're going to do is I'm going to pick cards. I have these cards here and I'm going to pick 10 of them one by one. And we're going to do whatever it says on the cards. And at the end, we'll have like a background. Um, and you can either, obviously, if you're doing it on watercolor or something, you can take it and you can cut it up and make ATCs with it. You can make tags with it. You can continue with it if, you know, as a background and add stuff to it and make it like a big mixed media piece. Um, you can turn it into all kinds of different things. Um, I'll show you the one I did last week. Last week I made a journal cover out of the one I did. Uh, this is what it came out to be and I turned it into a journal cover. I have leftover pieces to make ATCs and tags and such. But um, that's on watercolor paper. Today I'm doing it on canvas. And we just do that. And that's basically it. It's super easy. You don't need a whole lot. And if there's something you don't have, like I pick a card and you don't have what it says on the card, um, which it basically we're just using basic supplies, um, stencils, paint, what have you. But if there is something that comes up that you don't have, um, we, you know, you can let us know and we'll give you alternatives that you can use or you can think of an alternative to use. It's not a real strict process or anything. So you know, you can find something to kind of substitute it in your own stash if you if you can. So, all right. And I'm going to add, as I go, the ticker up here. I'll add in each prompt so that it'll be up there in case you, you know, miss, you know, what I say or, you know, miss one of the cards being read off. You can look up at the ticker and it'll have all of them. As I go, I put them in. Um, every now and again, I might forget, but I usually go back and add it as soon as I realize it. Okay, first card is add scribble words slash graffiti, which means to just take a paint marker or a marker or a pen or whatever you have and make scribble marks basically on your page. Like when you were a little kid and you would pretend to take an order from your parents, like, you know, and you didn't know how to write yet and you'd make like scribbles. You can do that or do like graffiti marks type of thing. Just something in the background. Um, so um, I just usually take like a paint marker of some sort and just start making all kinds of marks all over my page. Um, use, like just a, like that. And I just make a whole bunch of them on the on the page. It's just to start getting marks. And so I might use a different color for, I think I'm going to use different colors for the opposite canvas. And it's just something that when it's all said and done, we're going to add layers, obviously 10 layers. So when it's all said and done, you'll probably only see little snippets of this in the background once we get the page filled up a little more. Um, It's something easy. You don't have to think too much about it because obviously the cards tell you what to do. So it's not really anything you have to do too much thinking about as you do it. Okay. I'll do this blue. This is that weird marker. 
like a more lighter teal color. And, ooh, I got a dark blue too. Just making scribble marks. They don't mean anything. It's good to make a mess and it gets your mind off of things and you don't have to think about what you're doing because the cards are kind of dictating what you're doing. So you don't have to like worry about, you know, you just have to worry about the colors you're using unless we pull up a card that says to use a certain color. But otherwise, you know, we pretty much just, that's all we kind of worry about is picking a color. Everything else is kind of chosen for us. Let's see. So it takes kind of the guesswork out of doing a background, a mixed media background. Oh, maybe I'll throw a little purple on here too. And if you, you know, if, if, if I start, um, and you don't have to add this much, you can, you know, you could pick and choose how much you want to add. I just kind of was filling up it and going crazy <laughs> just for fun. And I'll usually ask if everybody's ready for me to pick the next card and don't be afraid to say you need a minute or two. That's fine. I don't mind waiting. So is there anybody that needs more time? That's why I usually tell people that our beginners are just starting out doing this with us to use something small. Just use something small so that you get used to it because, you know, if you use something too big, it's going to take you longer to fill up that, you know, to do each prompt and you might feel like you're being rushed or you might feel like you're getting left behind and I don't want you to feel like that. So it's good to start out using something kind of small. Little itty bitty. Yeah, you could do bubble letter graffiti, whatever you want. You could do whatever your interpretation of that card is, you know, pretty much. Sticky art, is it okay? Are you good? Can I move on to the next prompt or do you need another minute? Who uses our feet? I should use my feet. I should do mixed media mashup one time and just use my feet, but unfortunately nobody wants to see my feet. <laughs> that would be funny though. <laughs> Trying to use my feet. I could barely use my hands, let alone try to use my feet. Although when I was younger, I was really good at picking stuff up with my feet. All right, I'm gonna pick the next one. Whoopsie. Stay in place. Okay, the next one is use stamps. Um, now this could mean typical, you know, rubber stamp type of things, or you can use your household stamps, um, which would consist of, you know, stuff that you can dip into paint or maybe foam stamps. Ooh, maybe I'll use some foam stamps. Um, any kind of stamping that you want to do. So if you, in other words, if you don't think the ink from a regular stamp and a regular ink pad would show up very well on your thing, 
then maybe use some foam stamps or like if you have anything around the house that you could dip into paint to make marks with like bubble wrap or a prescription bottle that you can flip over and and dip into paint and make circles with and stuff like that then go for it i'm gonna grab a foam stamp or two because i don't use them very often i have a few in here Here and I need some paint. I moved my paint around. I recently like cleaned off, out all my paint things and like reorganized my paint. So I'm like, wait a minute, where's my where's my paint? Let's see, let's do and I have some paint that's like eons old i don't know how old this is but it's old so let's see if it's even any good <laughs> so I'll just, yeah it looks like it's fine it's a little uh thin but that's okay as long as it works right here let's do this little like ferny thing And we're just looking to make marks. We're not necessarily looking for like, oh, I want to place it in a certain area type of thing. We're not looking to make a finished product here. This is just for us to make a background. So don't worry about, you know, oh, well, you know, where to place it. Just kind of shove it down randomly. That's the nice thing about Mixed Media Mashup is it gives you an opportunity to kind of, you know, get random. And if you have problems with being random, this is a good thing to do because it kind of breaks you of it because... You know, you don't have, um, you don't get a lot of time to make a decision. And I usually, you know, say like, if you can't make a decision where to put a stamp, you know, where to lay the stamp down, you know, to make a mark within like five seconds, then it's just close your eyes and find a spot, you know, like kind of to help break you of that. Sometimes we have that need that, that kind of, uh, what do you call it? Um, the compulsion to like find the perfect spot for everything. And it makes us sit there for, you know, 20 minutes trying to figure it out. And this is a good way to break you of that. I mean, obviously you might not do that, you know, like, you know, like it might break you of help break you of that even in the future when you go to do an actual mixed media piece that you're thinking about and putting together, it might help a little bit to, you know, break you of that need to constantly take, you know, a long time to make a, a placement decision, whether it's with a stamp or whether it's with a piece of ephemera. Um, after a while, if you do mixed media mashup long enough, over time, you know, it starts to kind of break habits that you might have had um, that you had trouble with in the past because it kind of forces you to in a sense. And, you know, aside from me doing this on a canvas today, usually when I do this, I do it on a piece of paper. And I advise anybody that's just starting out doing this with us to do it on paper because I don't, you know, you don't want an attachment to it. You know, like don't, don't get attached to it where you're gonna stress over every little thing you put down or do because you wanna be able to you know, just let yourself be free and not worry about the end result. The end result is not really the point of this at all. It's basically a playtime and it kind of just, it'll like subconsciously kind of help you get things done in a different way. But this is just our playtime right now. And I'm trying to find a tag or something. What did I do with them? I moved everything. Now I can't find anything. Isn't that the story of our lives? Um, did I put them up somewhere? What did I do with the tags? Hmm. Well, I have this instead. I'll do this. I'll grab a couple of these. Hmm. Do I not have any 
pockets left. Damn. I'll grab a couple of these library card things. And I, this is I usually grab something, anything. It could be a scrap piece of paper. It could be, it could be um, uh, a, a tag. It could be a piece of dictionary paper. Anything. And I usually have it so that I can do this and use up any kind of remaining paint that I put out. That you know I'm. Um, so that I can not waste paint for the most part. So if you have scrap paper or like if you have like a composition book, that's a good thing to do this in. If you want to make like a painty composition book, I have one of those myself um, that's almost fold up from using it from wiping off my brayer when I did the jelly plate. Uh, something like that you can use to kind of use up your old the rest of your paint that you, you know, have out in case you poured out maybe a little too much or something. So I'll just put these aside and anytime I need to use them, I'll pull them out if I can pick it up. And sometimes I don't have any paint left over, but a lot of times I usually have a little bit at least and I wind up with many more projects and things I can use it, you know, for. This, oh wait, let me do the pink first. Let that dry a minute. This is that cranberry color that they did away with. Apple Barrel makes me angry that they did away with that color. I love that damn color. That was one of my favorite colors that Apple Barrel has is that cranberry color. Hi, Julie and Jamie. How to have it. But this is a, you know, I think a lot of us like this, like doing the mixed media mashup because it's, you know, a time where we don't have to like worry about, you know, what we're making necessarily. And we're just kind of making a mess and having fun with it. And I definitely am going to have leftover paint on this. That's all right. I'll just keep stamping this until, until it's used up. Grab my doodads. But it's a nice way to relax and kind of just not think. And it's also good, you know, I don't know um, who's a, might be a beginner at mixed media, but it's a good way to start off if you've never done any kind of mixed media. It kind of gets you conf more confident because that's a lot of the times people might want to start doing mixed media, but they don't know exactly where to start and they're kind of nervous about it or they see people doing stuff directly on canvases or journal pages and those things can be a little intimidating to start because it's like, well, it's a, it's a new journal, How, you know, I don't want to mess up the first thing I do. So then you end up not doing anything in it. Um, and this is a good way to do something because it's it's just a piece of paper so you don't have to, you know, use anything expensive and, and have it be you know, have that fear of ruining it or, you know, of it having to come out a certain way, you can get out of there. I'm going to squirt these with some water in my garbage can so that it gets cleaned up. But it's a good way to get started and open the door to other, you know, get you comfortable making stuff and putting stuff down on paper without feeling like, you know, it's got to be perfect every time. Because it definitely doesn't need to be perfect every time. Let me try that a little more.
yeah, it's definitely something that's good to relax because you don't have to do a lot of thinking because the biggest decision is taken off your shoulders. The decision of what to put where, you know, you just have to worry mostly about the colors. I've got like a little booger stuck at the top of my thing here. Where's my stick? It's like a dry wad. There it is. Got it. Successfully surgically removed that. And sometimes, you know, a lot of people that don't know um, a lot about colors and what colors go together with other colors, this is a good way to learn that because you'll learn real fast which colors look like crap <laughs> together and which colors, you know, don't. So it's a good way to teach you, you know, that as well because some people don't, you know, have an eye for the color, the color, you know, coordinating, putting stuff together. And sometimes it's, you know, hard on them to do that. And this makes it a little easier. I'm actually going to put some of this on here too. Because you'll learn over time if it doesn't come out, you know, the way you want the first time. You'll know next time what colors not to put together. But a rule of thumb, if you're, you know, if you're really unsure of what colors to put together, um, keep it in the same color family. So if you're going to do, you know, if you want to make sure that it doesn't come out, if you're nervous about what colors to put together, you know, do it all purples or, you know, like different shades of purples. Do it all in like greens or all in blues or something like that. Or like, you know, black and, and, and blue or, you know what I mean? Like, or like red and yellow, like colors that are extremely close, like easy ones to, to use that are, you know, are definitely not going to turn out to be a, a mess, you know, if that's what you're worried about. I need to get back here. my baby wipe. There ain't nothing wrong with a little mud. It's brown. You can just utilize the fact that it's brown and add other things to it. Or if you really, you know, make mud, you know, try to dry things in between so you don't make mud. But um, if you do start to make mud, just uh, dry it and then put a little gesso over top of it. You know, dry brush some gesso or white paint over top of the areas you don't like. This way you can go back over it with the next layer and it won't be as, you know, it won't be so bad. But really don't worry about it too, too much just for this. Well, that doesn't look very pretty, but 
you know, as you get more layers on there and it starts to get a little more, it'll start to get a little more cohesive as, it, as we go along. Usually by like the fifth prompt, everybody's going, oh, it looks terrible. Mine looks so bad. Everybody always, you know, the fifth one, usually that's where the uglies start coming out or it starts, uh, your, your thing will start to look kind of on the uglier side, but then the sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth prompt, it'll, it'll start to pull together a little better. And uh, you'll get more of a, and if it doesn't, well then whatever, it's just a piece of paper, right? Who cares? Does anybody need me to wait a minute or, or, or is everybody ready for the next prompt? Yeah, that's exactly right, Shazzy. Cutting it into ATC size changes everything about it, which is interesting. Um, like if you take it, it might look, you know, this is a little bit smaller, so you don't get the full effect. But um, where's my thing at? I have a... Here, I made this thing, which is an ATC frame. Basically, it's a piece of acetate and it's got a hole in the middle and that's an ATC size hole. So if you look at it more, you know, and just look at that, that's a cool background for an ATC. So you can add some collaging on top of it or an, a piece of, you know, something that you have, a die cut or something, put a sentiment on it or do nothing and just add a sentiment to it. And they come out real pretty, just ink the edges and you're done. That's it. And you'll have these cool looking artsy looking ATCs and it came out of a background that maybe you didn't like initially, you know. That's if you do it on paper, obviously. It's harder to do on this. But even like on here, if you had an ATC background that was like that, that's kind of cool, right? But when you look at it as a whole, it's like, wow, that's a big hot mess. But when you take it and you break it down into, you know, just a small ATC that's, you know, a little background, it actually gives it a different kind of look to it. Like even this one here, like if I just take it and do that and you just focus on that one bit, that's a cool background for an ATC, I think. And now that I've got paint on it, because <laughs> it was a little wet and I laid it down. But you can make one of these yourself so that you can have it for not just, you know, not specifically for this, for mixed media mashup stuff, but anytime you want to cut a piece of paper and um, you want to cut something, an ATC out of it, and you don't know where to cut and what looks best, you can lay this down and kind of move it around. And typically, you know, you probably want to cover this up too with tape so it's not see-through, so it doesn't confuse you to like see the rest of it. You just want to focus on the, you know, just the part where that's an ATC. And you kind of want to have a blocked out image, you know, blocked out area in the background um, so that you can focus just on that one spot. And it helps to do that sometimes when you're not sure where to cut something or and you want to make an ATC, um, you know, out of something. All right, I'm going to pick the next card. Add tissue or napkin. So if you have some, you know, tissue paper that's like either got pattern to it or just color to it, you can take pieces of it and collage it down on top. Um, or a napkin, same thing. Uh, I think, oh, I did have some of this napkin left over here. But I kind of don't want to use that one. Let me go grab a piece of napkin or something from over here. Watch out, bud. Watch out, bud. Pull it down. Let's see if I have something more suitable. Um, maybe a flower.
everybody. All right, I had to grab a couple things. Um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do exactly, but a piece of tissue that I'm going to take pieces of and put down some collaging glue. And if you're not sure where to put it, use the, uh, the theory of threes or odd numbers and use, you know, either three pieces or five pieces and just kind of randomly stick them and don't worry too much about where exactly you're putting them. Just kind of, you know, and if you're having trouble and you're still fighting with yourself over, okay, where do I put it? and you can't figure it out, close your eyes and drop the, the three or the five pieces and wherever they kind of land, that's where you glue them. Makes it easy. <laughs> don't, don't let yourself stress over it. And remind yourself that this is just a piece of paper. It's not an important work of art that's going to go in the Smithsonian, so it doesn't matter. This, I think I'm going to use this one with the purple flowers. It'll be a little darker. I think those would be too light. And just do this. with some water and make the edge jagged so that it doesn't look so perfect and if you use a little water on a paintbrush you can kind of rip it real easy so it gives that night a ripped look you won't see the edges I mean this is a dark background on here so it's not really gonna matter but if you have like a white background you won't see it as much you won't see like the lines of where your thing kind of starts if you use a a brush and and wet it so that it gets weak and then you can just easily cut it off or rip it off so what about that side so I'm gonna stick it right here on the edge anyway It'll rip fine with all the layers on it, but once I... It still doesn't give me a lot of detail, though. This one's a real stubborn napkin, man. Holy crap. It will not come apart. 
I have to just find an area and hope that I can get it. If I can't, I'll just leave it the way it is. I don't care if I get this backing layer off of it or not. Yeah, I might just have to leave it. Let's see it. This one's real stubborn. I don't care. It might come off after I get it ripped. Did you guys see the new video I put up yesterday, was it? With the um the alcohol or the the embossing powders made with the alcohol ink and stuff. Tasha, how are you? Hi, Barbara. You didn't get a hello from me because my head has been on my project. <laughs> Don't expect hellos when you come in late. I'm just kidding. You get no hellos. Can I get the other one off, please, or no? It's like really stuck on there for some stupid reason. You were taking care of business, huh? What kind of business? Sexy business? Were you having sexy business time? What have I told you about having sexy business time during mixed media mashup? That's not allowed. Okay, and this napkin is thick. I'm not going to do it that way on this piece because this one's got that double layer. It's just going to take me longer to get it through. And if you don't have napkins or, or, or tissue paper, just use uh just use a piece of ephemera or something. And put it and put down just a piece of ephemera even if that's all you got. That'll work. Every day, what? Sexy time? I don't know about that. I don't know if I buy that. <laughs> Not with your neck and your husband's neck issues. Maybe that's how you got those neck issues. Who knows? <laughs> I 
think I forgot to add, add the comp. I'll put that up in a second here. See the brother. I'm getting we got the next one is the fourth one and I'm already looking like a hot mess that's okay it'll I have plenty of time and cards to redirect especially this one this one's really a hot mess <laughs> but it'll it'll all work out in the end I don't care taking care of business every day <laughs> What's BTO? Baking three omelets? <laughs> oh yeah, duh. I knew that. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking music. Oh, I know who they are. I just wasn't I wasn't thinking music. I thought I was thinking of something else. And and I even said the song too, but I still wasn't thinking that was the that you were referring to the name of the band. Just being stubborn. Come on, scissors. Cut for me, would you? Would you, huh? So is there anybody that needs me to wait a minute? She's at dinner. She's not here. She she went to dinner because it was her aunt's birthday, so they went to dinner, I guess. So that's why she's not here. She actually has a life.
You have a hundred pound dog trying to get on your lap with his cone, oh good lord. Missed the spot. All right, I'm gonna pick the next card. It's a poodle pass. A poodle pass is a free pass. You can do what you want for this prompt. Choose whatever you want to add. Whatever paint you want to add, whatever anything you want to add, that's on you. You can do what you want. That doesn't mean it might not come up in another prompt down the line, but you know, eh. And you can just do it again with different colors or something. Uh, let's see. What am I going to do? Ooh, I know what I'm going to do. Where are my big big piece? Uh, I don't know if I have it in this one. Yeah. I got some sprays. Sprays. We're gonna have some fun with these for a min for a moment. You want a life? Me too. Sometimes I want a life. Other times I can do without it. Maybe not that one. Okay. Let's start with the two blue colors, maybe. some real mess making um excuse me just one please thank you very much use these on a canvas yet so I don't know what their reaction will be if they'll work the same or not find out yeah they do I think My hands are going to get nice and dirty, no matter what. No matter how much I try to prevent it, it ain't going to happen.
spraying myself instead of the thing. I just sprayed it all over my hand. <laughs> Duh. These are just streaming out. Great balls of fire. <laughs> this splattered mess it made. <laughs> Good God. It literally went mostly on my hands, I think. Gracious. Hot mess McGee over here. <laughs> I am so disgusted. That one I like. You can see the splatters where I literally sprayed it. It sprayed, it went like off to the side out of the nozzle and sprayed my hand. <laughs> We'll see about that. really cool you can't oh it just looks blue to you you can't see all the cool color in there dang it the screen ain't picking it up there's all kinds of like the teal and the blue and the purple the, the purple it just looks blue I don't know why the camera never picks up the proper colors that's aggravating I'll have to take a picture of it before I do anything else to it okay, I'll take a quick picture my phone is right here hopefully the colors show up better on the freaking phone camera yeah it looks like it will I don't know if it'll show up see look look how different it looks isn't that weird look how much different the color looks on the picture than the actual thing you would think they were two different canvases. Isn't that bizarre? How the picture shows up via the camera with the purples and this one looks blue. These are, <laughs> you saw me take a picture of it. They're the exact same thing. <laughs> I don't know how that happens. It's so weird. I really splattered that everywhere. Purples and certain blues have a hard time showing up on camera. It's very weird, but that looks really cool. I like that. All right, let's rock this one. What colors are we going to put on there? Pink. There's my red color. There's my pink color. And we'll put some purples too. I'll throw a little white into the mix, even though know. I have to mix up some more of that. Do I have a light pink? I thought I made a light pink. No? I didn't make a lighter pink? Huh. That's weird. Let's just use this color. Just use that red color and add some white to it. Whoa, that one's streaming off into space too. The nozzle must be getting a little clogged on it. There, that's better. Just needed to pick off the dried bit. Come on, don't you dare clog now. Why are you being weird? Oh, good gracious. Oh. I 
think I left these a little too messy the last time I put them away. Whatever. <laughs> we'll hide a little more of this color, even though this one's spraying weird. whole thing came out. How weird is that? Huh. The little plastic thing shoved out of the... Wow. <laughs> the force of it. The sheer force of it ripped that out of the thing. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I left them a little too messy the last time I put them away. That's my own fault. And these are not my homemade oxides, by the way. These are my oopsies that I made. Um, they're not water-soluble like oxides. Instead, I accidentally put varnish in them, and they ended up being really cool mixed-media sprays that you can, like, lift with some water as long as they're not dry, but it dries permanent, which makes it so you can add other layers on top, and they won't, you don't have to worry about them reconstituting the layer below it. So they're more like an acrylic spray. Hi, Jinx. I think you could catch up, Jenks, if you want to. It wouldn't take you that long. All of the all the cards prior to what I'm doing now, which is a poodle pass anyway, are pretty easy things that you don't, you know, need to take that much time with. Or you could start from just just scroll back uh, the thing and start from the beginning. And you could box that I'd spray in, especially for this type of spraying, but it got, I don't know what the hell happened to it, it got ruined. I have enough boxes, I should get another one, but meh, I'm lazy. <laughs> I'd rather be a mess. Look at <laughs> My hands are like purple.
was a little late on this side. <laughs> I might have let it dry a little too much, but that's all right. No, actually, it's pretty good. I like it. Hey, stop it. See, now how come this one you could see the purples in? I don't get it. This doesn't make any sense to me. What's going on? Am I in another dimension that things aren't showing what they should show? This is like, whew, that's a hot mess already. That whole rag is loaded with paint. Hi, Denise. You're just watching and listening in the background. She's spying on us. She's taking a transcript of everything we're saying and she's going to blackmail us later. Is that what it is? I need a, a cup. Where's my cup at? Cup, hello, cup. Hello, little cup. Cup. I gotta soak this little thing before it completely dries up. See, you can't even tell what I did before. <laughs> I'm going to the baby wipe and kind of wipe a little more back before it completely dries. Not that I need to because I kind of like the way it looks. I know why this one looks more purple because this one actually has some blue on it. So the blue I think is overpowering the purple to the point where you can't tell that the purple is there on camera anyway. So that's probably why camera's seeing more of the blue than the purple. All right. You're reporting it back to the headquarters? <laughs> the main poodle in charge? Who's that? <laughs> Not me. There's got to be a, a grand poobah poodle. <laughs> Hi, Donna. I haven't seen you in a while. Big old mess that I made. But that looks really cool. I'm liking that. Now it's the Grand Puma, and I'm the Ma. Mama Poodle, so I'm the Grand Puma. <laughs> Does anybody need me to wait at all? Mess. Hi, Teresa. Oh, 
Oh, did it? A rocket went up? Hmm. Cool. Alright, we're gonna pick the next one. Stencil. Stencil. Let's do some. I'm going to use this really pale lavender color. Um, get off there. Throw some of this on there too. Why not? And I'll throw some on here too. My hips hurt. Let's do some gold. Okay, bronze. That'll work. I like that color. I like it. Hi, Barbara.
I'm going to put it like this on here. What am I making out of tonight? Uh, they're just on canvases. I don't know. They're just on canvases, so probably just a canvas piece. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't got that far yet. I got two little canvases. Well, one is bigger than the other. You're eating a sandwich. Did you make one for everyone? stars again. I like the stars. I want to do on these. Hmm. Yeah, I'm good for now. 
Okay, Laura. Did you have a nice dinner? Does anybody need any more time or are you guys all ready to go? crab legs I hate you right now <laughs> I want crab legs so bad did you go to Joe's crab shack we have one of those in Nashville all right next card add flowers add flowers you could paint them, draw them, add actual paper flowers if you want to, um, add flowers however you want. You can just collage them down. Um, let's see. I think I'm just going to add flowers to this one. Um, Ooh, what if I did a stencil of a flower? That would be kind of cool. So I know I have a flower one in here somewhere. one that would be kind of cool to, to maybe put some paste through there or something that might, be, that might be a good idea I haven't even opened this one yet oh that's true Are you I forget where you live I forget where you live you live in Louisiana we got flowers galore over there. Flowers? Seafood. Why did I say flowers? I'm such an idiot. <laughs> you have to do it this way. No sense. Alright, I'm going to use a colored paste. I think I have... Um, I have a blue. I don't know where we want to go. Excuse you. I have a pink. That could be kind of cool. Um, or I can color a white. I don't really have gold. Did have well I kinda do actually. I would like to do it in gold, but I think I'd have to use my thingies. Um uh, my metallic luster thingies to get 
with their gold because rose gold. That would be pretty. Yeah, it would be gold gold, I think. Here it is. This is an ink gold. Yeah, that's soft enough. Soft enough to run through a stanza. Actually, like the perfect size for this canvas because it goes from like the flowers will reach from side to side. Those flowers and those butterflies. on the thick side. Guess what, everybody? Forgot to mention this. My basement is gonna get done soon. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, about damn time, right? The guy is gonna get started putting the sheetrock up in the next couple of weeks. It's only been over a year. I have to take and rinse off because that I'm not gonna be able to wipe it with a baby wipe fast enough to get it off. So let me go rinse this real quick before it dries up on me.
you. Uh, it's Inca gold. It's Inca gold. It's not, it's a little bit too thick for texture paste, but it's all I had. Um, I really like that other texture paste I had. Uh, this one, I kept the container. The, either of these two worked really well. The Faber Castell Texture Lux was really nice. And the Precious Metals Gold Leaf Texture Paste stuff. These were both very good. This one is going back. Uh, this one sucks. It's way too runny and it would have made a mess. But in a pinch, you can use Inca Gold. It's just, um, it's very thick. So it's a little bit harder to use, but you do get a nice look with it. But you get just as nice of a look and it's a little easier to use if you use one of these. I just need to find another one. I need to get one because I thought by getting that eye zinc crap that it would work but it was way too runny to be called a texture paste it's definitely not a texture paste it's just it's not even really it's just like a slightly thicker paint and i keep knocking my light out here okay Uh, does anybody need any more time? I'm actually going to run to the potty real quick, so it'll give you a few minutes. i got to pee real quick.
Okay. Alright, we're gonna pick the next card. Maybe Sticky fell asleep. She's not answering. Either that or she's very into what she's doing. I don't know. Oh, and Donna, I just seen where you said, shut up, Stacy. It wasn't done yet. No, it wasn't done yet. <laughs> I dealt with some crappy companies and some insurance issues. And, and then I gave up for a couple of months because I needed to not think about it. And yeah, so <laughs> it's finally getting done, my basement. I'm very excited. Uh, okay, next card. That's what I need to do. I'm like, what do I do next? Add lines. Add lines. You can use the side of a credit card to dip in paint and add some lines. Right, I'm going to add some lines. some white lines with some gesso. This one, I'm going to add lines, but they're going to look like stars. I'm going to make them look like stars as much as I can. I think I have a smaller thing. Find a little in one of these drawers here. As I knock everything over here, this, this little thing. And I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do like a silver, silver paint. I 
you're getting treatments oh yeah what kind of treatments Stars. <laughs> Some twinkly looking stars. I think this one needs a little bit length to it. Some of them are made a little longer than others. This one could be a little longer too.
the other ones go? Where'd they go? Oh, I'm gonna make them here. Anybody still need time? Next card. Use black. So this is one where you can use black in whichever way you want to use black. You can stencil it. You can paint it on, paint something. Um, I think I'm going to use black. Um, Ooh, I have that black glitter. Ooh, let's use some of that. Let's put a little of this black glitter on there. Maybe we'll put it in with our stars or something. Maybe we'll just put a little bit out there and maybe I'll use a little brush and maybe I'll just add it in places. I can That's kind of a good idea. Just kind of add a little depth in between my stars. Even this glitter paste isn't really a paste, it's more of a paint. It's not very thick to be a paste.
else can I add to it with any black? Mm -hmm. I know. Let's see. Um, what the hell? That is very, very, very thin black paint. Where's that other black paint at? I must have moved that too, huh? I guess I did. Sounds pleasant. <laughs> I think it needs a little Pepto Bismol. I'll outline the edges. left on here so I'll just go around this too. Why not? Forgot the back.
going to do the other side? No. No, I did not. Okay. Okay. Ugh. Run my hands through it, why don't I? anyone need any more time I'll just drop that on the other side of my desk You going to bed soon, Miss Gail? You going to the doctor tomorrow again? Well, hopefully they get you straightened out finally. <clears throat> All right, add paint splatters or drips. I'm going to add paint splatters, but I'm going to cover this up some because I don't want it all over that. Mm. I'm trying to find a piece of paper. There it is. damn tape, please. medium crap.
spam the damn 50s? What about it? What about the 50s? dots. of the flowers anyway. I want them in between the flowers. I'll just wipe it off of the top of the texture paste, that's all. some left. Put it on there. Big globs.
It's no waste Wednesday. <laughs> we do everything we can not to waste. card. Anybody need me to wait? card before we put the optional cards we'll have we'll do three optional cards um but add sparkle is number 10 and then we put up a couple optionals after this that you can use in case you need to add a little something to yours some sparkles. Let's see what it'll look like if I add um, this one here usually. Let's see. Showing up a little bit, a little bit. So 
just a little bit. Also have this sparkle, which is like a silver sparkle. I thought I'd put on here a little bit. Kind of tap it into some areas. It's got bigger pieces, like little foiled pieces in it. center of each of these little stars. Okay. Michelle, there's the staunch, the staunch character. S T A U N C H, staunch. Glitter in the middle, it actually looks pretty. I like it, I like it a lot. I 
Now with the glitter pieces on that one too, but you can't see that well either. All right, we're gonna get our optional cards out here. First one is use pink. And again, these are just optional. You don't have to use them at all. You can use one of them. You can use two of them. You can use three of them or none of them. What's wrong with my mouse? I probably got paint stuck in it. Yep, I sure do. The next optional one is add stickers. And the next one is you could if you can find a hidden object in your piece and bring it to life. In other words, like if you have you know if you have the background and you see something in there, like you know how you, sometimes you see like shapes of things, you can like pick out a face or a mermaid or a fairy or something like that and kind of draw the outline of it and kind of you know bring it out of the background. Oh, did you? Oh, that's cool, Jamie. out of those what do you mean you have three new ones left what are you talking about what do you mean get the ink out of them no because it's inside of it's it's absorbed inside of a thing no I wouldn't do that I would save it for your printer oh 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 they're for the old printer hey you can always send them to me because <laughs> I don't even have any cartridges for mine Oh, will you get money if you send them back? Well, if you'll get money back for if you send them back, then do that instead. Oh. You getting arthritis in your neck? Uh oh. Well, go get an x-ray. They can tell from an x-ray and maybe help you out with something. They can probably give you like a cortisone shot or something in your neck. That'll help a lot. Well, make sure you post your pictures of your mixed media mashup in the group so we all can see. Oh, thanks, Janie, I appreciate it. Oh. oh, really? That sucks. Well, if it gets worse, like in a, in a short period of time, then definitely have it checked out because it might not be arthritis, it might be something else. But if it just stays the same, and it, then it's probably arthritis. You have a $6,000 deductible? Holy crap, I thought mine was bad. Thankfully, I'm back on a regular, the plan that we used to like all the time, and I only have to pay a copay when I go to the doctor now. I don't have to worry about paying for like a bill coming in, you know? That's, the, that's what I hated. All right, everybody, I'm going to get off here for a little while, but I'll come back on. I just want to clean up 
and check on the girls and uh, get all this crap cleaned up. But I will come back on at about 11, 15, 11, 30 if anybody's going to be up um, to work on some other projects. Um, so, yeah, if you're around or you're going to be awake, then come hang out. I might have, I might put something on here, like write something, like with some lettering or something. Think of something to write on there, but I maybe find something to put on this one. I'm not sure yet, though. But anyway, I will be back in a little while. Thanks for playing along with us. I appreciate it. And coming and hanging out. Don't forget I'm having a uh, an auction Sunday. Uh, so come for that on Sunday at 4.30 Central Time. 4.30 p.m. Central Time. And uh, otherwise I will see you guys in a little while. Poodle Pack out. Pink Poodle Crafts. Join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own. Today, Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy.